Hello, my name is Lee Bates, and I'm so glad to be with you again for the ECPC Ministry Moment. This is the second in our series on Becoming Ambassadors. And if you were with us last week, I hope you accepted the challenge of looking in the book of Acts for someone who's introduced someone else to Jesus. What that was like for the person introducing someone to Jesus, and then what was it like for the person who got introduced to Jesus? I hope you had a good time looking at some of those and some of the implications of that and the ripple effects that followed. Well, today, we're going to look at that actual term, an ambassador. And I want to start by reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Starting in verse 17, Paul writes, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, and behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who, through Christ, reconciled us to himself, and then gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. Well, there's that word that Paul writes, an ambassador. We are ambassadors for Christ because of what Christ has done for us. When you think about an ambassador, what comes to mind? What is an ambassador? Well, as we think about that term ambassador, let me read a couple of different definitions. The first one is, an ambassador is a diplomatic official of the highest rank sent by one sovereign or state to another as its resident representative. A simpler definition is an ambassador is an authorized messenger or representative. Well, as we think about that in terms of the spiritual, we have become that authorized representative sent by a sovereign, and we are now residents that are his ambassadors. What I'd like to challenge you to do in the next week is to consider what role does an ambassador play in their country? And then how can we, or how can you and I, practically live out our role as an ambassador in our neighborhoods, where we work, and maybe even where we play on sports teams or, or other situations. So how can we practically live out being an ambassador? I hope that you'll talk about that with maybe your family or even some friends. Ask those two questions and see what kind of responses you get. Next week, we're going to look at the question, why should we seek to be an ambassador? So you can also think about that. There are so many good reasons for us to seek to be an ambassador. So until next time, thank you for joining us for the ECPC Ministry Moment.